<laughs> I slept here last night. Hardly any cars, hardly any traffic. It was great, uh, except there was a really, really loud tree last night, so really thankful for my earplugs. Now I'm driving up to Canada. Oh, I have been driving up to Canada. About an hour away, 50 minutes, says the GPS. And I will be heading up to see my grandpa. I haven't seen him in uh, many years, so it will be nice to reconnect with him. Hang out for the day. cozy back there guys I love it and I love being able to just start up the van and, and uh, turn on the kick on the heat with the heater in the back too and also I have I just keep this on the back camera now and I kind of like this it's kind of a shitty stereo and uh, this is probably the best feature it has the rear camera that I installed on there so it's kind of nice to get uh, my whereabouts you know see who's what's around the van when I'm getting ready to go Dude, like, I want to get more cameras. That's what I need. I need more of these. I need, like, five more. I could have swore I saw an SUV over here. I, I guess not. Camouflage. Get it? It's camouflage. That's my joke. <laughs> what do we have here? Would this be the train that woke me up last night? I've arrived in Blaine, Washington. Great view out there of the harbor. And I'm going to, uh, before I cross the border, I've got some old bananas I need to get rid of, and I've also, I want to dump my uh, trash bucket, you know what I'm talking about, Winnie the Pooh, uh, in case I, you know, they search my vehicle, that would be, uh, probably wouldn't make it too happy to find that. Nice view for taking a poo. Alright guys, heading to the Just Incredible van meetup. Okay, not in Canada, technically, about to go through the border crossing. That was the most silly conversation I've had with a border patrol person. They were asking me weird questions like, why do you have a van? You know, and I told them that I converted it to a camper van and do you have any bear spray with you? And I, uh, no, I think I took that out of the vehicle. Oh shit, did I bring it with me? I don't think I have it, but I don't think I have it. So uh, I was worried she was going to like search the vehicle. And then she's like, do you have any weapons of any kind? Do you have any knives? I'm like, uh, well, I have a utility knife. <laughs> and then she goes, oh, well, somehow the, that's okay. They let that cross. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I promise not to stab anyone. I'm like, oh my God, did I just say that to a border crossing agent? I don't plan to stab anyone with my knife. <laughs> you know, I just, I just like get nervous with that line of questioning. And apparently their automatic license plate scanner didn't work because my bike is mounted in the way of it. So the border agent had to go around my vehicle and read it off the license plate herself. I'm in a new country. This is crazy. It is so different here. The license plates say British Columbia. The speed limit signs say KM slash eight. What in the heck is that? This is totally different. Just a little observation, and I don't know if it's throughout Canada, but there's a lot of oncoming, oncoming traffic, and there's no like buffer zone or border between uh, the, the oncoming cars and myself here. And uh, it's a little unnerving. I don't know if that's unique to Canada or it's just this road right here, but I've been traveling a good distance. And man, it would just be so easy for a distracted driver on their cell phone just veer a little bit into oncoming traffic. Someone wants to turn left, I ain't gonna block a lane of traffic. All right, someone just honked at me. Maybe I don't understand the traffic laws here. I'm trying to make a left-hand turn. What does uh, green flashing light mean? And why are people honking at me when I'm trying to make a left? This is kind of uh, insane traffic uh, in downtown Vancouver. I've totally given up on trying to make a left-hand turn. I'm just gonna make a couple rights, and it's the same as a left. God, it's so difficult to find parking. I finally found some where it's not restricted for residential only for that block, and there's this sign. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna take a chance. I just saw a guy putting out these street cleaning signs. At least they have the courtesy to place those signs in San Francisco. You just gotta abide by all the small print on the parking signs, 
and hope to God you don't get a ticket. I'm in the nitty gritty of Van City, Vancouver. Damn, got the address mixed up. I'm an hour too far north. I'm in Vancouver. He's in White Rock. Here's the Molson Brewery. <laughs> I'm looking for my grandfather and I'm parked across the street and there was a man watching me outside of this window over here and he waved at me and I waved at him and I ran in excitement and I, I thought it was him, but it wasn't. <laughs> so I'm still not at the right place. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my mind and they're gonna have to check me into this retirement home. I'm, re I'm ready to retire right now. This is exhausting. I've been trying for half the day to find this place. <laughs> Look at this crazy guy over here. How are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, but you were, for a while, you were taking care of all the maintenance, right? Well, yeah, I do. Here. Yeah. yeah, I clean all this up. I have a bore so I can plug into the line oh, here. Oh, yeah. I go up there and blow it down Just here. Just clean it up, huh? it up. Yeah. This was you. Yeah, I recognize there. That's, That's funny. There's Wendy, huh? It's on that my dad's shoulder. That was overseas in England. Oh, okay. Hotel Swastika? <laughs> that used to be the name of it. <laughs> Hotel Swastika? That's what it was. They had to change it. Because yeah, it's understand. an Indian name. Oh, it's an Indian name? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And it has to... It well, was yeah. at, uh, oh, Hotel Swastika from 1914 oh, to wow. 19... Uh, 39. Wow, that's funny. Hey y'all, good morning. I am parked right now. So I tried to park outside of Walmart here in White Rock, uh, British Columbia, but there were some of those no overnight parking signs and tried the Home Depot, same there. So I just kept driving and uh, looking for an apartment complex where I can just sort of blend in. Didn't really find that, but did find these super posh homes over here that uh, don't appear to be, well, they, they look vacant to me, probably like show houses. So really quiet night of sleep. Uh, that was awesome. Right now, heading over to meet up with Grandpa for a Black Friday sale. He's upgrading, boys. New TV technology. That's right, he's getting a 55 inch. 55 incher uh, LCD screen. I don't. Uh, Head smart north TV. On 159th Street toward That's Mountain right. View Drive. Then turn right. And onto my View GPS Drive. is telling me how to get there right now. So I'm gonna do that. I'm here. I've arrived at the London Drugs. He's taking the shuttle bus with a friend, and uh, I am a little bit late. So maybe he's in there already. What an odd place to buy a 55 inch TV. A drugstore. Uh, Black Friday sale, I guess. Let's check it out. Maybe there'll be such a great deal on a 55 inch, I'll put one in the van. Beaver Buzz Energy, it's got that Canadian punch. Like I must have beat him to the punch. I'm gonna joke him and tell him that I, I beat him and I got the last one. A good idea to start the day with an energy drink. Pretty much, uh, I'm gonna have one of these instead, booster juice. Yesterday I had a bag of chips, pretty much for breakfast and lunch, and I felt like I had a hangover all day, it was horrible. So let's try something healthy. What are you guys doing today? Good. Good. Uh, Anything I can help you with? Yes. 
Well, Grandpa's going to be getting that UHD TV 4K. What a screaming deal on a Samsung TV. And uh, I'm just going to move the van here so that they can take a look. And um, I'll show them uh, my blooming flower of uh, drinks here. Yeah, I've got all the drinks on the radio. <laughs> probably need to hit up a trash can in a second they're gonna load the tv in the shuttle bus that's the plan but hey i got a van i'm a man with a van so let's make that a master plan and we can move that tv yeah man well, i showed off the van to grandpa he really likes it and i'm really thankful that he got me this new tv for the van i'm gonna figure out how to mount this maybe from the ceiling somewhere but yeah i got to show him the van so i got to share with him uh, that the family helped me my brother helped me build that back there put the wood flooring in and this cabinet all that good stuff now i got this great big tv I'll probably mount this from the ceiling guys and when i want to watch it it'll motorize it'll come down yeah i think this will fit nicely in here sorry oh easy on the new tv there <laughs> It can take a beating. That's your car right there? 2000. A 2000? Uh, Corolla. Toyota Corolla. Fly for Big Columbia. Oh, yeah. It's got the big flat setting sun on the front of it. Okay, and, you, and the maple leaf, right? You, Canadians love their, their flag, their oh, maple yeah. leaf flag. Yeah, I have the, the Canadian flag. I took it down put it on the same pole. I have the... Uh, the uh, community shuttle that he gets around town on. So fun! <laughs> what are you gonna have? I think I'll have a penny with meat sauce. Yeah, that sounds good. Got a pretty good parking spot here. Overlooks the pier. And I'm here for a couple hours, three hours. That's what I paid for. And look across the street, fish and chips. Fresh oysters and free sunsets. At a pink outhouse. Ooh, I want that pink outhouse. All right, got my fish and chips, got the vinegar, got the ketchup, got the view. Throw some construction going on, dang it! Well, overall, the fish and chips were pretty good, but I did get really ill after having the tartar sauce. You know, I think I know why. Look at this. Another Soviet star. God damn it. It's the Russians. The Russians are behind this. First it was Hillary Clinton, now, god damn it, it's my tartar sauce. Cool, the pier lights just came on. I should walk down there again. This is pretty funny. So this, there is a train that crosses right here. This is a very high traffic area. You can see the sign. It says, look, listen, and live. Use caution before crossing these tracks. Okay, in America, when I see tracks, I usually hear the ding, 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 this notification, and then there's, you know, like a divide divider uh, crossing that comes down so that you can't cross, you know, or you're at least you're alerted. Nothing like that here. So I'm really just wondering, in this high traffic area right here by the pier, how many people are struck by trains? I mean, it's going pretty fast when it goes through here. Train passes by. Uh, anyways, this is the fabled White Rock of British Columbia. That's where I'm at. White Rock, British Columbia. And I just wanted to say that um, I've noticed um, some pretty attractive women here, of Middle Eastern descent. And what made them attractive? Uh, I think it was their perfect English that they spoke. They appear to be second or third generation here. Uh, they've integrated well into the society. And I'm sure they have all the values of the society here. They're completely, um, you know, indoctrinated or integrated. Everyone here just seems nicer. I feel like we need to, in America, define what an American identity is. Um, actually define what the values are that make us Americans and hold everyone to that standard. Uh, it makes us share common values, you know. Um, of course, that would include, you know, free speech. Um, the English language is a great one. I think everyone needs to let go of their heritage. I mean, I am, uh, my family is from Canada, and then before that, we were from uh, Cornwall in England. But you don't see me, you know, protesting with a Canadian flag, spitting on the American flag. Uh, it's because we're Americans now, you know, and uh, we've integrated and we are part of this society. So, you know, Canadians seem to be friendlier. Uh, they don't seem to have this huge, like, uh, chip on their shoulder and just in public. Um, I feel like we've got this huge racial divide in America right now. And we all need to think of ourselves as one, Americans. And we should all uh, strive for the same values. Free speech, capitalism, 
real equality and real tolerance.